This video will show you how to import an existing chart of accounts. In our business, we keep a chart of accounts in Excel. We keep a few of them for different types of businesses, one for corporations, one for sole proprietorships. We have a special one we use because we do a lot of restaurants and we just import it into our new client file. So if we navigate over here to our chart of accounts, you're going to see that we've never looked at it before. When we peek at it, there's barely anything here. So we want to add a whole chart of accounts that we've already developed to make things easy for us. So in order to do that, we're going to click over here on new and we're going to import. Navigate to where your chart of accounts is saved. For us, it's saved in Trillium Bookkeeping Administration. Sorry, Trillium Bookkeeping New Client Setup. And in here we have charts of accounts. We have a corporation, a restaurant corporation, and a sole prop. So this client is not a corporation. They're a restaurant, but they're not a corp. So we're going to go with the sole prop chart of accounts. So I'm going to click it. I'm going to open it. And I'm going to go next. And all of this is already set up. You don't have to touch it. That's the beauty of having a chart of accounts already in Excel that you can use. So we're going to go next. And we're just going to scroll through here and decide what we don't need. They're not going to need a U.S. checking account. Uh, they're not going to need PayPal. They're not going to have any building. They don't own their own building. They're not a franchise. So I'm unchecking all of these accounts. So I don't have a, a cluttered up chart of accounts full of things I don't need. They don't own any land. They are not going to be using gift certificates. Actually, they probably are. We're going to leave that one because if we don't know, we might as well leave it. We are, let's scroll down. I think that's about good for now. So now we're going to import this by clicking import in the bottom right hand corner. 68 or 69. One thing didn't import properly. It doesn't like this one. I'm not sure why. I think it's because it doesn't like the service fee income. So I'm going to change it and just click it again and see if I can get that to import in. There we go. So that's how you add a chart of accounts.